Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm to, to the end of my ball and I'm going to thread the rest of my yarn onto a yarn needle first. This is one ball of Be So Vivid yarn and it's for making one of those um, cowl scarves that I've showed you. We did one in each of the 15 colors. It's called Callie May. You can find that pattern on my website. You can also find uh, the rest of the video tutorials on that pattern page as well as here on my YouTube channel. So when you're ready to finish this scarf, you want to remove it from the threaded holes of the machine. And see how these hooks come up as we're going? As the hooks come up, you want to, okay, so as we go around, okay, so as we go around and pull them off, then I can pull the loop off of the machine. And so as we come to the next stitch and it pulls it off, see, cause we're not stitching anymore. So we're actually unraveling it. And as that last loop comes off the hook, we can then manually pull it onto the yarn this way. Okay. okay, so we're gonna manually turn it one more time so that the loop comes off the hook. And then as it comes off the hook, we can thread it right onto the yarn. So this is doing one extra revolution after we pull the yarn out and stop knitting. See how nice and smooth that goes? All right, well, I'm gonna continue and work all the way around because I wanna show you what I'm going to do uh, with this once we can get it off the machine as well. This is actually quite relaxing too. There's something, I don't know, a little bit relaxing about just moving this wheel a tiny fraction at a time to just get one loop prepared. And because we're just working through the loop, we're gonna have the ability to very smoothly be able to cinch this whole tube together. Okay, so now that I have all of my stitches thread onto my tail, I can simply cinch it closed. Isn't that so nice? Look at that. Okay, so there we have it cinched closed. And once you cinch anything, this works if you've been, if you were cinching a hat or any other type of a project, you simply want to secure it with a knot. And thread it to the inside. So now I'm going to take my tail and thread it through to the inside. Okay, so now I threaded it through the hole to the inside and I'll weave it back and forth a little bit, maybe tie another securing knot back here. That's optional. You do the way you wanna do it. Uh, some people are very adamant about no knots in their knitting and crochet and that's fine. If you are confident in your weaving in skills, that's perfectly fine. Um, if you're not so confident in your weaving in skills and you prefer to add a few knots in there, that's fine too. Like I said, there's no wrong way to be creative as long as you're happy with your results. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions at all, please leave them for me in the comments. Everything we talked about today, you can find as links in the video description below. Let us make time to create, share, and inspire today and every day. I'll see you in the next video.